top of the range Nissan Pathfinder Ti gets a suite of updates for 2017 that adds some style to the spaciousness. But is it the pick of the Pathfinder bunch? The Nissan Pathfinder's multi-generational history in Australia has been an inconsistent one, a journey over which more than 70,000 units have been sold. In the 1990s it was a refined answer to rough-and-tumble off-road rivals, while in the 2000s it morphed into a utilitarian 4x4 when its enemies had become soft Monaco crossovers. The current iteration bows to established conventions targeted at the US where it sells in big numbers and aimed in Australia at the more popular Toyota Kluger and Mazda CX-9. While never a paragon of style or efficiency, it has leveraged keen pricing and mountains of cabin space well enough, averaging about 5% market share over the past few years. Nissan launched the MY17 updated model a few months ago, bringing a number of changes to the table to compete with the aforementioned rivals in ways beyond the dotted line. Who is Nissan targeting? Families of course people too style conscious for a people mover minivan, who want ride height and do predominantly urban driving. So what has changed? The MY17 Pathfinder get a revised V6 petrol engine with more power yet greater efficiency, matched to a new CVT gearbox that's supposedly better than its predecessor. There's also a plethora of new partial autonomous active safety technologies from Nissan's Intelligent Mobility Suite, improved infotainment and subtly revised looks with flashy LED headlights available given the latest Mazda CX-9 is still a relatively new offering, the Kluger has just copped its own big upgrade, and the soon-to-be-updated diesel Kia Sorento remains a benchmark, the big Nissan has a